the Arizona Peace Trail was amazing. But for us, it was also very, very, very eventful. But we'll get to all that in a few minutes. Day one of the Arizona Peace Trail. We're just outside of Kingman and man, it's already just so beautiful here. Secret Pass is a down and back side trail. It was definitely fun, but a little more than we could handle on our ATVs. And just being the first day, we did not want to take any risks. No, I don't want to get tippy sideways. Oh, easy. What about when my front tires go off though? You don't think that's gonna to be too much of an angle? But that's what I'm worried about. Trust me, this drop off was a lot steeper in person than it looks on camera. And I was worried that once my front tires dropped off the rock, I would just go end over. I think we could just go up and around that way. Yeah, we'll back up. We got to this obstacle that was basically just a straight drop off. Is that, is that another drop off? Big time. So if we get enough speed right here. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no way. So that's as far as we're going and we're gonna get back to the main trail now. could just take two seconds go down and like this video and then hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it all right sounds good talk to you later we made it to oakland arizona the last remaining payphone in the world Finally made it to Lake Havasu. Ate dinner, of course, at In N Out. We're not camping tonight. We decided to get a hotel. Oh, yeah, be awesome, awesome. Oh, man. When your eggs break inside your cooler and you gotta drain it out, you get egg water. Delicious. Beginning of day two, we just left Havasu. Today's trail is going quite a bit faster so far. Man, we are super excited. I don't know if we're gonna get down to Quartzsite. We're not gonna push it too hard. We're just gonna go, and however far we get, that's just where we're gonna camp today. This was a really fun day for cruising. The washes outside of Havasu were freshly groomed and absolutely perfect for riding. After a quick stop at the Bra Tree, it was on to Woody's cabin. Post office, Planet Ranch post office. Not much left of it. Ooh, nice little fireplace over here. Wonder what this whole area used to be. So all the green down there, 
It's like a conservation area for fish. Pretty cool though. straight it's 20 miles to bounce if we go left it's uh i think an extra nine miles total and we're gonna go see that uh, ghost town ghost town ghost town let's do it that's the ghost town swansea here we go Personally, I don't think the extra mileage to go see this ghost town was really worth it. Unless you're super into old mines and ghost towns that really only have a couple buildings left, I would say bypass this and just stay on the main trail. It almost just looks like a prison. <laughs> it was cool, but unfortunately, I just don't think it was worth it. Okay, I think it's time to go to sleep. Good night. Day three, everyone. We're just outside of Bows. We're heading down to Quartzsite, and right after Quartzsite, we're gonna hit the good, bad, and the ugly. I'm not sure how we're gonna do with the trailer. Is it really that sketchy? I don't know. <laughs> water and restocking the cooler. All right. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, it's called Indian Corn Grinding Site. So I bet they would grind up their corn kind of like a uh, mortar and pestle type of, type of deal. Here we go. Good, bad, and the ugly. This was an incredible section of the trail. Technical rocky terrain is some of my absolute favorite type of off-road. The GPU is difficult without being so technical that only the most built-up rigs can get through. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this section of the trail. I would try to get a little more to the right if you can. You can probably get a high center a little bit, but just keep going. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good.
Come, come left, left. The Hummer. You guys actually fit through here with that thing? Ah, oh, there he goes. I love these Jeeps, man. Super like built up and capable. I like that last one, especially. Officially the end of the good, bad, and the ugly. Made it to Cibola Lake. It is so hot. Oh, <laughs> it feels amazing. Time to get back on the road. This was an unexpectedly super fun part of the trail. The Trigo Mountain Wilderness was a little rocky and technical, but not too difficult at all. Just plain fun. And best of all, we found an amazing campsite right off the trail. We made it to our camp spot tonight. We found a nice little spot. We're off the side of the wash here. And I'm pretty excited. We finally are camping. This is such a cool spot for a campsite. The trail is right over there. And it goes up. Where is it? It goes up the hill there. It's my first time having that one. It's really dang good. It tastes just like chicken teriyaki. That's really good, you guys. Last night was definitely interesting. We had critters going through camp, donkeys literally going right past our tents. Overall, I definitely got some good sleep and it was absolutely an experience to remember. the red cloud mine a few miles back there and i met my buddy bob here and uh yeah he's just been hanging out here for a while well we just topped off in fisher's landing and that's the most i've ever paid for gas in my life some stuff dang hard. I've got to check everything. Dude, you were, you were bouncing. I know. I wish I would have filmed it, but it was like, God, it was about to flip off. That's what I was afraid of right there. What? Tire's totally flat. Oh, is it? Yep. Because I hit something really hard. Yeah. Well, I gashed up both tires. This one, I nailed the rim. You guys can see it. There's a gash right there. Same thing on the other side. Gashed it right there, so. Luckily, I've got a sidewall repair kit and an air compressor, so hopefully we can fix it. First thing I had to do was clean the tires and make sure there was no dirt or dust. Next, I had to glue the actual puncture back together. 
Then I sanded everything down as smooth as possible. Next, I cut a patch to size. Then I let the sun and heat make me really confused. I applied beads of glue to the patch and tire, then held the patch on for 30 seconds. After everything had set up, we tried putting air in the tires. And guess what? I think we're good, guys. Let's try the other one. They're holding air, which is good enough for now. I'm hoping it's good enough to get us back to Yuma. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get some new tires when we get there, so here we go. We did have to stop and refill the tires a couple times, but we made it to Yuma pretty quickly. And man, it felt so good to see that hotel. Got back to the hotel with the trailer. Man, big O tires coming in clutch. Those guys are awesome. The new 28s, I think, look really good. It doesn't seem like it's gonna rub the fender at all, so back on the trail tomorrow. Started day five on the trail. We are just outside of Yuma, heading towards Dateland for some gas and then Salome. Salome is definitely the longest, most boring day. But you do get a cruise pretty fast on some long, straight dirt roads. So I guess that makes up for it a little bit. Getting a quick lunch in Dateland, having some pizza, and then hopefully we'll make it to Salome by the end of the day. We're making really good time today. <laughs> It is hot and bright and sunny out here. Pretty dang cool though. We're here at our little motel in Salome. And I'm gonna be honest, this place is a little bit nicer inside than I expected. Morning of day six is not looking the greatest. We're hoping for no rain. We're having some breakfast here at the motel. Pretty cool little cafe. And then we're on our way for a short day to Alamo Lake. Just took that angle and went up and it was no big deal at all. discovered some terrible news. My left leaf spring is broken. 
Yeah. So at first, I was just like heartbroken. I felt like this weight on my shoulders, like I'd ruined the rest of the trip. But Aaron came up with a great idea. We're just gonna leave the trailer here. We're gonna take what we really need out of the trailer, put it on the four wheelers, finish the rest of the trail without the trailer, and then we'll come back in my truck to pick up the trailer. Today was super eventful, but this is the perfect way to end the day. We're gonna finish two more days of riding, then we'll bring the truck back and pick it up. It's a sad sight, you guys. We just had some coffee and breakfast at the wayside. Now we're back on the rainy trail. All right, we can get out of the rain for a little bit. Pretty dang cool. Dude, that mud is so slippery. So to be honest, I was having way more fun after leaving the trailer behind. In the future, I definitely wouldn't bring a trailer on an adventure like this. I'll still use it for certain types of trips, but leaving it behind allowed me to move a lot more freely along the trail. You have got to come check this out. This is so dang cool. No way. Man, this canyon just keeps going though. Look at that, you guys. You guys, this is amazing. Holy cow. This is so cool, Trev. Dude, this is amazing. All right, that's as far as I'm going. Let me tell you guys, this is one of the coolest places I've ever been in my life. This is just so cool. Maggie's Wash, you gotta come check it out. This is so cool. Up, made it to our little tiny motel at the trading post and today was such an awesome day maggie's wash was one of the coolest places i've ever been it honestly ended up being one of my absolute favorite days of the whole trip so far not a bad little room guys i'm actually super excited about it yes pizza burger at dazzo's Good morning, 
it's day eight, the last day of our trip. Let's go hit the trail. Well, last day on the trail and uh, Aaron's four-wheeler won't start, so. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, no. Hopefully it's the air filter, huh? Well, I don't think so. We tried everything and we just can't get it to work again. We're not giving up. Aaron's gonna ride with Trevor on his two-up four-wheeler. It'll be interesting, but we're gonna get the trail done. Trevor riding together. Definitely not ideal, but you know what? We're gonna finish the trail and that's all that matters. This has definitely been an amazing ride so far. What a fun day. you guys we've been snacking on this jerky the whole time it is so dang good idaho prep go go check it out it's it's really good you guys look at all those cars at least three of them to the Boreana Mine at Goldfish Pond. This place is so random. It looks like there's a natural spring over there that just feeds the pond here. And there's just a bunch of goldfish. So I don't know, it's kind of a cool place to find out here in the middle of the desert mountains. Now let's go check out the mine. I don't think I'm gonna step out there. It looks pretty sketchy. Hey, you guys should come here and we should uh, get a picture of the three of us with that background. Yeah. So cool. Man, I wish you could be here and see this. If you're considering doing the trail, just do it already. It's amazing.
We just hit the turn off and we're headed towards the Gold King Mansion. Take it slow, you got it, yep, yep, you're good. Slow, 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 you're good. Okay, stop. Turn and back up a little bit. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, stop, stop. Oh, shoot. Yeah. This section of trail was difficult. Honestly, one of the most difficult trails I've ever ridden in my life. And I was absolutely not expecting it. Unfortunately, it caught me so much by surprise and took so much of my concentration and energy, I just didn't get a lot of great footage. But if you like a challenge, especially on ATVs, give this trail a shot. I'm guessing it'd be quite a bit easier on a side-by-side, -side, but definitely just as fun and rewarding. This and of crazy. course, the mansion is a super cool historical site to check out. Check it out, we made it to the Gold King Mansion. I love that you can actually go up in here, it's so cool. The Gold King Mansion was built way back in 1929. Yep, 29, right before the stock market crashed. The Gold King Corporation built it to house potential investors, but after the crash, no one wanted to invest and the mansion turned into basically what you see today. It's definitely a super cool old building though. I can't imagine how they built this thing all the way out here back in the 20s. Pretty crazy. Jeb? Yes? made it out of that crazy wash. I didn't even film that much in there because I, my adrenaline was just going crazy. That is by far like 1000% the most difficult trail I've ever done in my life. It's basically the Gold King Mansion Bypass Trail. And if you've never done that trail, it is insane on an ATV. This ATV, which I've modified pretty heavily, and then on Trevor's completely bone stock ATV, no lifts, no bigger tires, nothing. He completed that insane trail with Aaron on the back half the time. The rest of this trail is just straight and flat and boring. So I'll see you guys in Kingman. Well, we made it back to our hotel in Kingman and this is what we found. This is my truck. We called the police, they came right over. I mean, they were here in like five minutes. Got a tire guy, Purcell Tire here in Kingman. He came over in person to check it out. He's looking in to see what he can do. <sighs> 
guys. This is, is a trip to remember. What a relief, you guys. The tires are on. Huge, huge shout out to Nathan from Purcell Tire here in Kingman. Man, this guy went above and beyond. If you guys have any tire needs here, hit him up. I'm super happy with how they turned out. They look great. And now we can finally go home. Take her home, baby!